What is good guys, we are back with game 3 between Zucht and Katut and this is another path up team that Zucht is using with Mega Tita, enough speed to outspeed Mega Mawal, Adamant Nature, Pursuit, Stone Edge, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Choice Scarf plus Cephalon with Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Will O Wisp and Trick, Assault vs Tornado is actually Jolly Nature with Hurricane, Knock Off, U-Turn and Super Power, I think Hurricane still Oko's Kartana even with a Jolly Nature so that's completely fine in this matchup, Kartana is a threat so Tornado is important to check that, then the Ferrothorn is a bit more Fist Death orientated since he has AV Torn to check Ninja, Stealth Rock, Gyro Ball, Leech Sheet and Knock Off, and the Rotom is Fist Death Bolt with 72 in Speed Death, T Wave Volts with Hydro Pump, Defog, Aya Papa Berry, Reuniclus is Psychium Z with Command, Recover, Psy Shock and Flash Can. Um, I think Flash Can is there to help with the um, Underwork Clef matchup versus Stall. On Katut's side, it has to be the Megalady uh, needs to move to hit Heatran, so probably like Serve Megalady, uh, most likely Fist Death Pack since he has a chance to wall special attackers. Then either Scarf Lando or Scarf Card, probably Scarf Lando. Could be Edge Lando because he's a bit weak to Pincer and Edge also helps with a Tornadus matchup. And then um, Kartana or Lele is the Zemo user. If Lele is the Z, then Card is probably Bandit. If Card is the Z, then Lele could be Specs. Though Specs would be kind of bad for Katut in this matchup because then he can never go for Psychic, otherwise, he would get trapped by the T Tar. Um, turn 1, I'm expecting like a Hurricane or a knockoff here from Zuchtrest. He's AV Torn, like I said, so he can live any one hit from the Lele. Um, outside of like Specs, Psyshock, or maybe Shattered Psych would also kill, but outside of that he can live like everything, so he's fine to go for Hurricane or Knockoff. Um, if he goes for Knockoff, he will find out if it's Specs or if it's Z-Move, as he does go for Knockoff, and we see no items, so it's Z-Move, Calm Mind. Okay, so um, it's either Shattered Psych or All Out Pummeling. With Moonblast, probably with Psyshock, and the last move is most likely HP Fire or Focus Blast. Um, well, I, it could be, yeah, it could be Focus Blast to help get rid of Heatran. But, the, but plus one Shattered Psych also does a lot to Heatran. I mean, it kind of depends on the Lari. The, Lari. the Lari should definitely have a move to hit Heatran, yeah. So let's go to Tita, um, because Tita is probably like kind of expandable in this match. Um, assuming that's a Fizz Death Toxapex that does wall the Tita. And he didn't really have he didn't have a switch in at all. Like there was no point going to Blacephalon because Scarf Blaze can potentially put him work later in the game. So now um, he's gonna have to switch out into either Chansey or Pex. Um, Zuchtrest could pull a double here into Tornadus or into the Reuniclus, predicting the Chansey or the Pex to come out. Does pull a double into Torn. Um, I assume we're either gonna see a knockoff here from Zucht or if he doesn't want to risk getting poison on his Torn, he can also go to Reuniclus. Um, but yeah, he went hard for the all-out pummeling, predicting either the Ferrothorn or the Tita to come out. Could um, the Ferrothorn is still like is decent in this match because it can annoy the Chansey, it can annoy the Lari, it can potentially knock off Kartana's band. I assume Kartana's band since the Lily already revealed Z move and he's baneful bunker packs and he gets the tornado chipped now. Um Zuchtas can just knock off again here and get rid of an item, get rid of the black sludge if Kadut stays in, and Kadut can probably throw out a scald. Um, I don't know, like going into Lari here, even if Katut does that, then Zucht can just knock and U-turn the next turn. So I think knock is super free, but he U-turns on Chansey. Why did you not knock off? I don't get it. Now, um, he can go into Ferrothorn and probably um, threaten out the Chansey with a potential knockoff and then just get the rocks up. And Katut, um, if I'm Katut here, I don't know if he knows the team because the team is known. If I know the team... Um, I would probably go Pex on the Ferrothorn because I know that the Ferrothorn is not Spikes, so it can only get up rocks, it cannot hazard stack here with Spikes. Or he could also be HP Fire Lari, I guess. He could be Surf, Ice Beam, Roost, HP Fire Lari. It definitely has to be Ice Beam to check uh, Zygarde. It could be HP Fire as well because Katut doesn't have great Katana answers. So if he's HP Fire Lari, he could have gone to that. I don't think I would have stayed in and risked the chance of getting knocked off. Um, also, there's a team on ladder that is going around. Um, if I'm Zucht here, I would just knock off though. Um, knockoff, is, knockoff is super free, you just get rid of an item, like, but he doubles in the Torn there, anticipating the Kartana or something? I mean, I get why he doubled into Torn somewhat, but I don't understand why Katut just wanted to let his chance he get knocked off. Uh, but yeah, he turns back into Ferrothorn, and you should just knock off, I don't know why he didn't do that earlier. But I was trying to say, um, there's a team that's going around on ladder, with like Healing Wish Lali plus Healing Wish Chansey, I'm not sure if Katut has the same sets. That team has a regular band scissor over Pex, and I don't remember if it has another one different. But yeah, it has like double healing wish to bring threats back. But he goes hard into Kartana on knockoff, which is not the play. Because now the Kartana, the Kartana was such a threat because the Torn is already poisoned or like weakened. Like rocks are also up, so Torn can't really check Kartana. So I don't know why he let the band get knocked. Because now he can't break through the Reuniclus anymore. Like Torn is not a problem for Kart, but Reuniclus can now potentially beat the Kartana 
No, not potentially. Irinoclus now beats Katana because he lost the band. Because without the band, I think Leafpack only does like 42 to the Irinoclus. Because this Irinoclus has bold 248 HP, 216 defense, 44 speed. Um, there's like new Irinoclus these days that run more speed to um, speed creep packs that speed creep Irinoclus. But I think Padlock made this team week one of Ultra Sun and Moon and never changed it. Maybe he changed it one day, I don't know. But most of the spreads are still the same. So Zultras doesn't have a switch in. Um, it seems he might just be sacking the Ferrothorn here. Um, Kutit went for a knockoff there, anticipating the Tornadoes to come out, which is understandable. Just knocks again, gets rid of the Torn. Um, I don't know, if you're going to switch out into Torn, I don't I don't know why you didn't do that the turn before. Like, he let Ferro take the knock. I guess he got a little bit more chip on Kartana, but that extra chip wasn't worth it. He should have just sacked the Torn in the turn before, I feel. So Scarf Blades can threaten out the Kartana here. Chansey or Pex is going to come out. Um, so does he pull a double switch or does he just flamethrow? He does just flamethrow. Get some chip on a Chansey. So Chansey is just going to softball here. Zuchtras is going to have to switch out into either Reuniclus or Ferrothorn. And is Katut going to softball or is he a Healing Wish variant and he's going to go for Healing Wish to bring... Oh, he is a Healing Wish variant, yeah. So they can just bring the Katana back to full right now. But since he let his Choice Band get knocked off, which was a misplay, he can't break the Reuniclus anymore. But yeah, he has to bring the Katana back. Um, he's probably just gonna click Sacred Sword here. Uh, so Zultas is either gonna sack the Ferrothorn or he's gonna go hard Reuniclus. Um, since Reuniclus has Psyche on Z, knockoff doesn't do much and Leafblade also doesn't do much because he let the band get knocked. So Reuniclus should be able to wall this. He might go hard Reuniclus or he might sack the Pharaoh, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, what's Pharaoh doing at this point? It can still annoy, um, if he can ever get rid of the cards, Pharaoh can still be really annoying for Katut. Um, Especially if he kept leftovers on the Pharaoh, which he didn't. Um, so he just sacks it to Sacred Sword and... Now it's at plus one, which means he's forced to go into Blaze to force this out. Choice Scarf Blaze. Um, he's now just gonna click Shadow Ball. Katut is most likely just gonna go into his Blacephalon. Blacephalon into his Pex, my bad guys. He's just gonna go Pex. And even though this Pex is most likely Fist Death, he can still Wall, Scarf, Shadow Ball, because Scarf Blaze is not that strong, only Specs Blaze can break Pex. Well, I guess if he gets a Spadef drop on Fist Death Pex, then Scarf Blaze can actually run through Katut's team. Let's see how much it does. It should do 30 ish, 38, okay. So Katut is just gonna scold or recover here, and Zuthras is obviously gonna switch out into the um, Reuniclus. So this boy has two more switches to rocks, the Blaze is getting chipped. He's just gonna throw out a scold um, as Reuniclus comes out. Now, Katut um, probably just has to switch out. If he has T-Wave on Ladi, then he can go do that and T-Wave the Reuniclus and go for Hex. But I'm not sure if he has that. Like, he has to be Recover, he has to be Ice Beamed for Zygarde, he has to be like Surf to check Heatran. And I'm not sure if the last move is HP Fire. I guess, yeah, it could be HP Fire because he's kind of weak to opposing Kartana. But if it's HP Fire, then I feel like he would have gone Ladi on the Pharothorn earlier. Yeah, I'm not really sure. So it could be T-Wave Healing Wish or... Dude, I don't know what the last move would be. It could be D for Gladi. If it's he yeah, it could be Defog Gladi if it's not Defog on Lando. But yeah, he's gonna have to switch out here most like into Kartana as Sultra is just gonna get command up, I assume. Yeah. And um the only move he has to Oko the Kartana is Shattered Psyche at this point. Flashcan can also kill it, but he needs multiple comments for that because Kartana is bad spadev. So Flashcan can kill it after multiple comments. So I think he just goes for recover exactly. Gets a crit there, which is annoying. So basically what Katut has to do here is spam Leaf Blade. Uh, waste Reuniclus recover. Pretty much that's Oh my god, so lucky. Gets two crits in a row. I mean, it's high crit ratio, but still. So, uh, Zutas is gonna have to use, recover multiple times, um, get Reuniclus to a good amount of health, like 95% or something on that. Maybe at full is the best even. Obviously, at full would be the best. But if he keeps critting, then he can't do that. So, this is... Like, Katut still has a shot if he keeps critting this. <laughs> Knockoff has so many PP and Leaf Blade, obviously. But yeah, it's Leaf Blading at the moment, not knocking off. But yeah, Leaf Blade also has way more PP than Recover. Recover only has 16. So it's just gonna be have to... It's just gonna have to keep clicking Recover. Um, 79, so Recover again. Gonna bring him back to 80-ish unless he gets crit. 87. Okay, I think he recover one or twice. Once or twice more. And then... Um, I think then you attack, right? Because you only have 10 recovers left, you're gonna be a bit careful. I don't think the Lando's gonna have punishment, I think it's another crit which forces him to use more recovers. <laughs> I don't think the Lando's punishment on this team, I think it's just U-turn Earthquake. Um, either Defog and Stone Edge, um, depending on what the last move on the Ladi is. If Ladi has Defog, then Lando obviously has a different move. 
Could all, if the Ladi is not HP fire, then the Lando could be HP fire. I feel like one of the two might have HP fire because Katut looks really weak to Katana. Even though his packs is probably fit F from the damage that we know. Um, I didn't run the Kalk, but that looks fist F packs to me from the Shadow Ball damage. So I think he just has to keep clicking it. Um, yeah, now he says he misplayed, or he said it's choked in this case by getting knocked, which yeah, is definitely true. He should not have let this get knocked. He should have either gone the packs on the Pharaoh earlier or maybe Ladi, huh? But yeah, it's working out for him. He crit this like three times already, the, the Reuni, and he's wasting a lot of recovers. So he definitely still has a shot. Um, watch him bluff this and have punishment on Lando. I doubt he's gonna have. Why does he switch out? Why does he not just keep attacking? There's only a six recovers left. And if you get another crit, you can maybe even beat the Reuniclus or get it super low and out of recovers. Like, why did you switch out? Do you have T Wave on Ladi? No, he switches back into Lando. Why? Is he punishment Lando and he's just bluffing? There's no way. I think he's just gonna U turn out. I mean, if he's punishment, good job, dude, but I think he's just gonna U turn. Um, but he doesn't have a switch in. I don't know why he switched the Cartana out ever. That was, like, not the play at all. Why? Dude, hello? <laughs> Um, so now he's either gonna go back to Cartana or sack something. Here goes Ladi, huh? Well, Ladi can eat a side shock, can Mega and recover up. And Zuchtras is now gonna have to heal the Reuniclus up. So he's gonna recover here the Reuniclus, which means he only has 5 recovers left. <clears throat> but damn, this is a bit rough for, um... Why did he not just stay in and keep attacking with the Cartana? I don't understand. So he goes Landorus on the Calm Mind. So now he's at plus 3, which means, um... Sashunk might be able to Oko Pax without the Z, and he's gonna for be forced to recover here on the U turn. I think it's another crit, so lucky. Um, so, Ketut either sacks something here or goes hard Katana on the predicted recover as he goes Pax. So, I don't know the Kalk, but um, Zuchtras is gonna run the Kalk here, and if Sashok kills without the Z, then he can just raw Sashok. But if it doesn't kill, then he's gonna go for the Z because he obviously doesn't wanna get haste and lose all its boost. Even though, does this even have haste? Bunker, Scald, recover. It probably has haste, right? Um. Yeah, I mean, Fizz Death Pex can kind of check Cartana, but he still doesn't have the best answers. So I still feel like he needs HP Fire on either the Land or the Ladi, because even if Pex is fit, that's not a great Cartana answer. But yeah, um, yeah, just depends on the Kalk right here. If plus 3 Psyshock kills Fizz Death Pex, then you go for that. Otherwise, you just go for the Z. Um, Psyshock at plus 3 kills, obviously, if it's Spidef, but let me Kalk on Fizz Death. Okay, just goes for the Z and Pex is gonna go down. But let me run the Kalk just for my like I just wanna know for myself how much this would have done. Um yeah, Sasha does 91 to 108.9. So it definitely makes sense that he went for the Z there because it was a roll on Fizz Death Pack. So Landris um is just gonna U-turn again here, unless he just was bluffing and he has punishment. But I'm pretty sure he's just gonna U-turn again. And Renukas is super low on recovers. Um, yeah, if Ladi had T-Wave, I think he definitely would have gone for it way earlier. So it goes Cartana on the recover. And yeah, he's just gonna leave that again. And uh, Zuchtas just clicks Flash Gun here, as it should be able to kill the Cartana. Exactly. And he gets another crit. <laughs> and now the Reunicus is in U-turn range. I think he just lost without that crit. Dude, what the fuck? Now he can go Lando and click U-turn and it's in range because of that crit, otherwise we need to just destroy him. Um, because it obviously wards the Lele and the Lari with the common boost, but now Lando just clicks U-turn. Um, I think he goes Rotom here though. I don't think he sacks the Reuniclus just yet. And then the Rotom... The Rotom can um, potentially t with the... I don't remember how the healthy Lele is. I think the Lele is at... Um, Dude, how much health is the Lily? I don't remember. But the Ladi is super healthy still. Uh, Ladi probably can't touch the Rotom if it's like Ice Beam Surf, Recover, and last move, either Healing Wish or HP Fire or something like that. But yeah, uh, could dude always U turns here. Rotom comes out on U turn. So, uh, either Ladi. Lily's at 49, huh? So let's go on Ladi. Does he have a move to hit Rotom? I don't think he has a move to hit Rotom like Draco. Um, also, um, let me run a Kalk on the side. Shadow Ball from Scarf Blade Cephalon only does 56 to 67 to Ladi. So he needs more chip on Ladi to sweep with Scarf Blaze late game. And Ladi can Ogre Blaze with Surf. It does 85 to 100. Um, so yeah, that's that, that's those Kalks. So I think you just T-Wave the Ladi here if you Zucht Rest and... Go for some juicy hex, maybe. Oh my god, I just... I just got interrupted and he gets a freeze on the road. <laughs> he could have T-waved the laddie there or something. Or he could have gotten a slow 
Well, no, slow voltage into blaze is not the play because he needs more chip. But I could have either T waved or hydro pumped to get the chip. Um, yeah, he probably is trying to T wave this. So he gets his berry, he gets multiple chances to saw out. And yeah, I assume he's gonna just T wave this if he saws out. Let's see. He does saw out. Phew. <laughs> he gets the T wave on the Lottie. Now this means Rotom is faster though. Um, so I think he's just gonna pump and then he's gonna eventually volt switch. Um, he has to volt switch on a turn where Katut goes for recover there. Okay, he could have volt switched that turn, I guess. Um, I don't know the exact calc, but pretty much, um, like I said, Shadow Ball does 56 to 67. So whenever Katut gets in this range, he's forced to recover exactly because uh, he has to stay out of range from Scarf Blacephalon. Because if he's not, if he's in range of Blacephalon as he volt switches and as, yeah. Then he can lose to that. Though I don't think he can hard like volt switching is so risky for Zuchters. Yeah, he's trying to volt switch into Reuniclus basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. He needs to volt switch into Reuniclus on a turn that the Ladi goes for recover. Though because the Ladi still outspeeds the Reuniclus. Right, right, right. My bad, guys. I didn't talk about that. Ladi still outspeeds Reuniclus because Para got nerfed this gen. So he's tr what Zuchters has to do is either sack the Rotom as he gets frozen again. Yeah, he can sack the Rotom and then heal the Reuniclus after. Or he can he could have volt switched it in earlier if he got it right on a turn where the Ladi went for recover, um, which then would have let him go for recover with Reuniclus because I'm pretty sure Ladi doesn't kill the Reuniclus, but it tweet kills the Reuniclus. Um, let me run a call real quick on the side. So Ladi, yeah. So Surf does like 23 to 27 to the Reuniclus, which means. Um, yeah, if you go hard for Uniclus, you risk getting Twit KO'd. But yeah, I assume he's just gonna try to sack the Rotom to then get in his Reuniclus to get the recover off, pretty much. You can Voltage Prick to go for the recover as he gets the ride, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Now, um, yeah, like Surf, Ice Beam both don't kill. So uh, Zucht is just free to go for recover here. Landris comes out. How many recovers left? Like one or something? I didn't pay attention. And Ketut's gonna U-turn here as two recovers left. Okay. Damn. Um, yeah, he might also just sack the Rotom here to keep this around. Yeah, he does sack the Rotom to a U-turn. That also makes sense. Because now um, the Reuniclus can set up on the Paralyzed Ladi. There's no way you go Blacephalon here. Because if you go Blacephalon, Shadow Ball doesn't kill, which means you have to bang on the Para. Um, so you just comment here exactly. Landris comes out. And now you just click Psyshock. Or do you comment again? I think you click Psyshock here. A recover is also an option to just keep this healthy on the obvious U turn. Yeah, a Recover is also fine play here. So he's just gonna go into the Lele because the Ladi is complete setup for us. So he's forced to go into Tapu Lele here. Um, he doesn't really have another choice. And then he has to um, just click Moonblast here. But yeah, Recover is definitely the safest play here for Zuchtres this turn. So I assume he just went for that. Um, yeah, I mean, a hard side shock is an option, but why not just Recover? Because a U turn is obvious and Recover heals more than U turn does, as you can see it at 49. So if he recovers here, he gains 9%. Which means he's at 94. Uh, he also has a um, special tag and spadef boost, and Flashkin should be able to kill the Lily from here. So now Katut has to run a Kalk here. Um, well, there's not really a point in running a Kalk. I think he just has to Moonblast. Does go for Moonblast, and Zuchas gets crit again. <laughs> oh my god, can this stop? <laughs> no, this poor Reunicus has been getting crit so much. No. because <laughs> now, So now it's in U-turn range from Landris once again. He says you win anyway. Does this Ladi not have Surf? Or anything to kill the Blacephalon from 51. What type of Ladi is this? Like, hello? If the Ladi does not have a move to Blacephalon, um, I think you should delete this team, maybe. I don't know. So, um, now he U turns. Reuniclus goes down, most likely. And then it comes down to. If the Ladi has a move to hit the Blacephalon, it comes down to if Zuchtres can get the full para. Or if the Ladi does not have a move to hit the Blacephalon, then Zuchtres just wins. But, like, this was a weird ass game. <laughs> I don't know, Mana Regen was like, um, maybe kind of off some turns, because this game is weird as shit. So now you Shadow Ball, it's a Twit KO. If Ladi doesn't have a move to kill you, then you win. If it has served, then you have to hope for the para, as he does get the para. 
<laughs> so now we will never know. Um, maybe they will uh, tell us if it has a move to kill it. But what the fuck was this game? Because yeah, Scarf plus one. Shadow Ball obviously kills and obviously outspeeds Scarf Landris. Slavalon has more base speed than Landris. Does he, move, he asked him if he has a move to kill. He had Earthquake, but Para. So why did he say you win anyway if he had Earthquake? But he had Earthquake over Surf. Okay, interesting. Oh, this game, dude. <laughs> this was funny to watch, though, um, honestly. Like, as a spectator, this shit's so funny. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Zootrest wins 2 1 versus Katut in OLT round 1. Stay tuned for more tournament coverage, uh, short on lives, all that goodness. Smash that like button if you enjoy it. <laughs> what was this game? Dude, this. Can anyone like count how often Reuniclus got crit like four or five times at least? I should have uh, I should edit in a Reuniclus crit counter, but my computer is too bad to do that. That editing would take five hours. But good God, poor, poor Reuniclus, and then the para at the end. So like hacks on both sides. But yeah, peace out, friends.